So remember the um, compound interest formula that uh, that principle. Uh, you, you take the principal times one plus r to the n power equals that you know uh, new total, where um, p is the principal. Here we don't know what that is because we're looking for what the initial investment is. Um, r equals the rate. And here, if it's 20% annual interest compounded sem semi-annually for two years, um, that's actually 10% interest in two um, semi-annual payments. So R here is going to equal 10. Um, and it's uh, the N here equals the number of accruals. Since it's done semi-annually, that's twice a year for two years, so that's a total of four. So um, the unknown principal times one plus 10% to the fourth power equals the new total, which we do have, 29,200. Um, so it's p times, um, so 10% expressed as a decimal is 0.1, so this is 1.1 to the fourth power equals 29,200. So unfortunately, we have to multiply out um, 1.1 to the fourth power. I, I guess I'm just not going to make you watch me <laughs> multiply that out. It's actually not that hard because you know you're just uh, rewriting the new um, top part of the multiplication thing over and moving decimal places over and adding it up. Um, it's long but not hard. Um, it ends up being p times 1.464 or actually 1.4641 equals 29,200. And um, so we divide 29,200 by 1.46. That equals straight 20,000. Again, I'm not going to bore you with watching me do uh, arithmetic. In this case, uh, the initial investment was $20,000. Answer choice D.